Oh, you guys are. She brags about you every week. It's like I, I have to have <laughs> I like the. To hear that. I have to have the Lindsay segment now when she comes on, <laughs> talking about how you don't need any microphones. Wasn't she talking about that? You got such a powerful voice. You didn't need me because you just spoke up in uh, uh, Concord, didn't you? Yes, yes. Uh, the Nashville Community Music School was invited to uh, perform for the governor and the executive council. So we were at the state house uh, last Wednesday, May eighteenth. And uh, I spoke to the whole room without a microphone, and I guess Barbara yeah. was very impressed <clears throat> with that. Welcome to my room. <laughs> how, how uh, and why don't you tell the people how long the Nashville Community Music School has been around? Uh, the Nashville Com- Community Music School is a nonprofit organization. We've been around for 32 years in Nashua and various locations. Uh, we're now in located in the heart of the Nashua Mill Yard. I, t- I told you about a month ago we were going to start to do this uh, musicians of the month thing here yeah. th- that you would pick up. There are quite a few summer music programs going on. We'll direct your attention to www.nashuacms.org. Nashuacms.org, 5 Pine Street, uh, right here in downtown uh, Nashua. If you're interested in the Flute Academy or Broadway Week or Intro into Piano and Percussion uh, Music around the world. Summer Strings Week, uh, Summer Strings Week, guitar and ukulele and young composers going on all summer long. I would assume no age. Is there an age? The, the age limits vary depending on uh, what the contents of the program are, but basically they're from age three and a half to 16. Okay. That, that, so it's a pretty wide range. You're out, Charlie. You're not going. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we got the Bucket Blast Boot Camp coming up. Uh, well, I guess it's uh, there's only one class left. That's right. So our, our Trash Talk program has a Trash Talk Junior unit, which is for kids. It's a recycled percussion program. And uh, they're actually going to be performing on our Sunday, June 5th recital with our Trash Talk senior group, as well as a variety of our uh, NCMS students, including some of our guests today. And if you want, you, they also have lessons there, uh, private lessons uh, for all sorts of instrument instruments if you're interested as well. A guitar, violin, voice, <clears throat> viola, flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, French horn, and drums, of course. Yeah, you name it, any any age, any age. About 15 or 20 percent of our student body are now adults, right, so it so doesn't necessarily have to be a child in order to take a lesson mm. and get, the, get what you want out of music. All right. Well, uh, once again, that's Nashua Community, uh, NashuaCMS.org for information if you want to uh, sign up for that. And we do have a couple of our first. Uh, by the way, here, Charlie, give them the, a couple of little awards here. <laughs> you guys get awards. Yep. Give them both awards, please. <laughs> the, the, Charlie will distribute the WSMN awards to both of you two first time <laughs> people to the program, a red and blue. W, a red and blue WSMN balloon from 1956. All right. <clears throat> hey, feel honored. <clears throat> All right. Let's talk to the individuals in the studio this morning. Ava Soul is in the studio. Good morning, Ava. Come on over to that microphone. Yep. How are you? I'm great. How are you? All right. Now, uh, uh, do you normally perform at 7 o'clock in the morning? No. This is the first. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. That's good. And how long have you been going to the... Uh, to the, to the community music school? Around seven years now. Oh, you're very proficient at what you do, though. Uh, I'm sure. Don't you have get your to be. Hopes up. Oh, come on. Um, and how old are you? I'm 15. Okay, so you've been playing for seven years already. Yes. All guitar? Mm hmm. Yep. Oh. I also play cello, but not with the community okay. music school. Okay, so what are your aspirations when you get a little older? Uh, I mo- mostly just do it for pleasure. I don't intend to pursue music, although it's a good hobby that i that's a lot of time to put into something that you're not going to pursue are your parents all right with that (laughs) yeah they encourage it um uh, you got any brothers or sisters yes i have two and are they involved in music as well yes and what do they play um my older brother plays piano and trombone and my younger brother plays piano and trumpet do you all play together no (laughs) you don't have the family band nope (laughs) nope come on that's not all right, and uh, you're playing. You will be playing an acoustic guitar this morning. Yes. And that's your uh, number one instrument is an acoustic guitar. Do you play the yes. electric guitar? I have an electric guitar, yeah. but I seldom use it anymore. Right. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have a Marshall amplifier by any chance? A half stack that'll drive your father crazy? Uh, no. no. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Now, we <laughs> asked for that for your 18th birthday. <laughs> Uh, well, you are a guitar student at the National Community Music School for seven years. We can't wait to hear you play this morning, okay? And mm-hmm. I hate to put you on the spot, but you know what? When you're in the business that you're in like mine, you show up or go big or stay home. <laughs> yeah. So today's your day. 
Uh, and we have Joe Joe Hartnett's in the studio. You are the guitar instructor. Come on that microphone. I know that you like to instruct, but today I'm going to make you talk. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Okay, you're, you're playing a classical guitar. Yes. And how long have you been playing guitar? Um, Too long. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You, you look like you're 22 years old, though. I'm 31. Okay. <laughs> and how long have you been teaching at the at the at the community? I've school? been teaching for almost a year now. Okay. And what'd you do before that? Uh, before um, I, w I went back to school to pursue my master's in uh, classical guitar performance. Oh my! You must be a master. Yeah, you got to be good. Let's just put it that way. L leave it to me, okay? I'll the one that's tell you. I know most musicians because I am too. Definitely not as proficient as both of you are. That's for sure. I can find my way around. I've been doing it for 35 plus years, but not, not to the level that you guys are at. And we are always learning. You'll learn that instrument to the day you die. So it's very difficult to take any compliment of that, you know, I've arrived. Uh, I can understand why you're like that. You're never going to arrive, and that's the yeah, greatest you, thing about it. Music is a lifelong It is. Process. It is. You're always learning. Um, and I think and I've told them, and when I spoke to Lindsay in the first interview, had I taken lessons when I was younger, I'd be a lot better than I am now. But uh, we, I, we didn't have as many opportunities as they have today to learn. And how did you learn? Were you taught by an instructor as well when you were younger? Oh, uh, no, I'm self taught. Um, electric guitar. I started on electric guitar, yeah. uh, playing heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> and then later on, I found classical guitar. Just because the guitar just kind of intrigued me. It's a wonderful, yeah. the classical guitar is, is an amazing. Okay, so where did you learn to read music? Um, I learned uh, at Keene State College. That's when I started. Is it okay for him to be unveiling all this information right now, Lindsay? That's perfect. Okay, I'm I'm I got to make it. sure that his resume said the same jo thing. Joe's same. resume is very impressive. He can talk about it all he wants. Well, I mean, it's an inspiration <laughs> well, to, to people like myself or others that are self-taught yeah, that you can... You can start whenever. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you are interested and you put the time in it doesn't matter what age are you good at math <laughs> no, no honestly it's a, good, it's an honest question no well, some many of the composers i dropped out of pre-calculus <laughs> oh pre-calculus <laughs> that, that means you're okay at math just to get there we can all count to four and that's what's really important no, but as I, a musician I, I, listen yeah. uh, four know, or six <laughs> some of the uh you know composers that we know of they were they were really really good at math too yeah. Um, and there is something to it. Math does take practice. I mean, so does music. So it's kind of that same. If you practice at it, you will get better. Ava, are you good at math? I'm not bad. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I mean. See, I'm not too good at math. Maybe why that's why I'm not such a great player, you know, but I can't read music. Uh, it's something I want to do, but I can't wrap my head around it. That's why I ask you how you learned. You taught, she learned from, <laughs> from the get-go, which is probably the way that I should have. But you had to learn. Yeah, I mean, it was rough. I started late. Yeah, you know, my early twenties, starting to read music. Um, yeah, it's just you just gotta grind it out. <laughs> Ava's fifteen. She's a student. Uh, she's been playing for seven years. When you listen to music, what do you listen to? Um, I listen. I do listen for guitar. Like I do listen for the guitar line, but most of the time, I can pick up a really strong like beat. I keep the beat yeah. because in band at school. Like the percussion is prominent, yeah. so I often listen for that and lyrics. Yeah, I yeah. love lyrics. Uh, you, Joe, who you listen to? Um, well, I listen to anything really. Really. Um, so you one of these guys that can listen to something and pick it out? I might hire this guy. You're, you're, he's off. You're out. You're fired <laughs> from there. You're working for me from now on. In the studio. Well, <laughs> in our music outreach program, you can hire our musicians Listen for, her. for she, various her, gigs. The, the, the feather on the back of her neck just stood up. Look at that. I could see that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to play a little something, something here this morning. I don't know what you guys have planned. So we have two duets mm -hmm. um, that we're going to play. Uh, and then Ava will play a solo uh, guitar piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. How long are they? This is not in the God of Davida, is it? Um, just 25. 25 minutes? No. <laughs> He's kidding. He's oh. kidding. Oh, two, two to five. Two I to mean, five we, we, hey, listen, you guys want to do a night show in here? I got no problem. We'll play all night. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Two, two to five minutes of music. All right. Well, I do this. You wrap two it up so we can get to, because you've got two do what you're going to do, right? Yep. Okay. So we'll just give a teaser on both of them for about one and a half minutes. Is that fine? Okay. I want to get to her solo, though. Okay. All right, so let's introduce uh, Ava and Joe. Uh, Ava, uh, Ava is a student for at the uh, Nashua Community Music School, and Joe is a guitar instructor at the Nashua Community Music School. And, they are, and she is our Musician of the Month, Lindsay, because he's not. 
He Ava is our musician of the month. Okay, so you got that red balloon, right, Eva? Ava? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's let's play this. The cam is on. Just breathe. You're gonna be just fine. Okay. What are you nervous about? You've been doing this seven years. It's tougher <laughs> at home than it is here. Don't worry. Nobody can see you. Let's do this. That's beautiful. Are you ready to kick it out now? I mean, you warmed up a little bit now. Are you all right, Ava? I'm fine. All right, we were listening to a duet from Joe Hartnett, who's an instructor at Nashua Community Music School, and Ava Soul is our uh, musician of the month from the Nashua Community Music School, and she is playing the acoustic guitar, which will give you the little bit of a higher frequency and the accompaniment would be Joe on a classical guitar. You can watch it at WSMN1590.com. Left-hand side, just click on Live Studio Cam. All right, what's our... what's our, That had a little Metallica feel to it, I have to tell you. I, it yeah. did. a boy, keep going. Yeah. Say that again, Lindsay. Uh, I had your mic off. These are all excerpts from Julio Segreras. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Okay. So he's a composer. Oh, thank you, because I don't know the guy. I haven't, <laughs> I, I haven't seen We him appreciate those composers. I haven't they seen him down at Nancy's Diner lately. That's why. All right, what's the, what is the next uh, thing like we're going to do? Uh, you speak into that microphone, dude. Go ahead. Would you like another duet or the solo piece? Uh, if she's ready to do that solo piece. Listen, it's now or never. Okay. Let's do it. All right. That's what I like to hear. That's it. That go get them spirit. All right. So she's going to play a little bit on her own here uh, on acoustic guitar. Go right ahead. That's beautiful. Huh? <laughs> now, the acoustic guitar that you are playing is also an acoustic electric guitar. Is that correct? Yeah, that's do you, right. Do you like pl plugging that into a microphone, uh, an amplifier? I don't often do it. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know if I have, like, an amp that's, like, suited for it. That's okay. Dad's listening. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's in the room, and Christmas is eight months away. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's. Uh, we still got more time to play. How about another duet, uh, Joe? If you, if you'd like, <clears throat> she's just starting to warm up now. By about eight o'clock, she'll feel real comfortable. So, <laughs> we're gonna have you play in the background when the director of public health is here this morning. Oh, you can play a background for. Me. So, so who's this? What which piece of music are we gonna be uh, listening to um, right now? This is another composition by Julio Segueras. Who is that guy? He is an Argentine uh, guitarist and composer. Okay. Um. So I like his method book because a lot of his um, examples are musical mm -hmm. and it's not a lot of text. So it gives the student um, a big opportunity to play a lot of music. And then my job is to show the easiest way to play it. Because mm. a lot of method books can have a lot of text and it's really hard to follow. Sure. So I, I prefer the music and then... I take care of the rest. Uh, that's the voice of Joe Hartnett. He's an instructor at the Nashua Community Music School, and our uh, musician of the month is Ava Soul. She's 15 years old. She's been playing for seven years. 
one of the things that came out in the last 20 years, which we I didn't get when I was a kid, is a thing called tablature. Do you teach your students tablature? Um, sometimes I might provide an example okay. for electric guitar, mm-hmm. maybe um, s- scale patterns or something like that. Mm. But um, they learn to read music. Yeah, yeah. I like to. Yeah, it it's it's difficult at first, but uh, it makes it a lot easier later on. Yeah, well. it, there's more information on the on the paper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's our overall goal at the National Community Music School. No matter what age you are, uh, no matter where your interests are, we want to make sure that you can read the music. So when and if you do leave to go somewhere sure. else, you can you can be fruitful and Absolutely. be an awesome mm-hmm. musician that teaches themselves. Yes, it's a universal language. Yeah. yeah, I know what it's like to start music late. I started with tab, so yeah. I know both avenues. And I can say that uh, the sheet music has all the information you need mm-hmm. <laughs> to play. Do you do you ever dab into tab? I but have. you don't tell your instructor, right? I have in the past. <laughs> Oh, no, no, oh, I haven't uh, since I started taking okay. from him. Yeah, uh, but like in the past, I definitely. Uh, for the listening audience, just so you can wrap your head around this a second, tablature is basically a numbered system uh, which corresponds to the strings, which would be, you know, you got six strings, and then it, each fret on a string would have a number that you put your finger on. That, you know, just a quick synopsis of what that is. Uh, do you play Guitar Hero? <laughs> no, actually. Do I you don't. recommend your students to play Guitar Hero? Um. No. <laughs> I tried to play it, and I couldn't really get... I think that the rhythm is a little bit off. Yeah. It is a little bit off, right? Yeah, it, 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 there is no way that I think it can track as quick. there's a latency issue. Yes, I believe so. Um, but I've never played it. I've seen people play it, and it's the harder for musicians. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. We've got, uh, we're going to play another duet. Um, here inside the studio, and you can watch it on cam at WSMN1590.com, left-hand side. Click on Live Studio Cam. Ava, Joe, Lindsay on the cam from Nashville Community Music School, and our musician of the month is Ava. So go right ahead. beautiful it's beautiful that's beautiful well listen ava we wish you the best hopefully you'll stay with that but also maybe branch out to other mm-hmm. instruments thanks for coming in and i, I know all the eyes and ears are on you and, you and you performed well thank you for doing thank that you, thank you. i really do appreciate that we look forward to seeing you again joe thanks for sharing your expertise um look forward to coming by and taking a tour of the school as well and Lindsay, of course for setting this up um, oh, thank you for the invitation. We, we really appreciate couple it. A couple of minutes if you needed to promote anything going on at the school uh, besides some of the things that I just went over. Sure. I mean, our summer programs are, are open for enrollment, all of our summer camps as well as summer private music lessons. If you'd like to take lessons with the wonderful Joe Hartnett, please register today. Mm. His spots are filling up quickly. Joe, do you play outside of the school at all? Um, you know? Um, yeah. When, um, not, mean, not recently, but um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gigging around. Are you from this area? Yeah, I'm from Nashville. Oh, I am. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Joe and I actually found out when I hired him that we went to school together and didn't know each other just because Nashville was so big. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, so small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was born true. right down there. <laughs> really? <clears throat> and how many students do you have? Uh, right now I have seven. Okay. So, yeah, it's good for how, a year. How Your youngest student? My youngest is probably um, 10. Not the easier to teach than like 16, 17-year-old? Um. I prefer at least 13. It's a little easier. but How about yeah. <clears throat> the challenges today as an instructor uh, compared to when the days of old? Because they have so many other things that they can be involved with today. So, you know, yeah. practicing. and Yeah, there's a lot of um, sensory overload with the cell phones. And, I mean. How do you get in- practicing in on All of the uh, YouTube information. I mean, it's great that there's um, the Internet with all this information out there to, to you know, teach yourself guitar. But, um. I do think it's easier to find an instructor that knows what he's doing and has spent the time 
uh, throughout the years. And you can't beat that one on one either. Yeah, you know, you can get corrected on the spot. You know. And when do you find the time to practice? That's a great question. I mean, with all the other things you've got going on in your she life. She plays a bunch of different instruments. She plays cello and oh. clarinet yeah. and tenor saxophone yeah. during marching season. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, My parents forced me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going to end this now. Uh, we're we're going <laughs> to... I love job. it, though. I do She's love it. All right. Well, that's the way it has to be yeah. as well. All right. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's great to see you. We look forward to seeing you again. Huh? Thank you. All right. Thank we're going to take George. a quick break. Come right back. Bobby, Bobby Bagley time for the, she's the director of public health in downtown Nashville. We talked to her on Friday mornings. Nashua Community Music School, www.nashuacms.org for more information. I'm George. We're looking downtown Main Street's WSMN 1590s. Nashua this morning. I'll be right back. Outdoor Almanac brought to you by New Hampshire Fish and Games Wildlife Journal.